If you take all the hours I've flown, it will make uh, more than two years. I have been away from, from the Earth. You got it. Hey, Daniel's here right now. Let how me are talk you? to him, right? Okay, talk to him, right? Hey, Daniel. Hello, how are you? Oh, so, good, man. How's it? I heard finally you got the propeller down, man. Eh? Oh, no. You haven't got it? Nah. Ah, you're <laughs> joking. Okay, come on. Get, huh? get it for me. Right there. Thank you very much. Huh? Took it long Thank enough, you. but wow. <laughs> finally there. People of his age are read books and watch television. You know, he builds airplanes in the mountains of Dominique in Cochrane, you know, where nothing's available. No, I wouldn't call him crazy at all. He's, uh, he's just staying young. We both love flying. We share our love of flying. And we shared it by making an RV-8 kid aircraft together. And he's happy. He seems to have no regrets. And for that, I admire him. And when I grow up, I want to be like Daniel. Before starting in checklist, right? Huh? Yes, Ready? sir. Yes, sir. Uh, check your trim. Uh, trim is 10 degrees. Should be neutral, sir. Uh, it's okay. You want me to put it neutral, all right? It's neutral. Okay. Fuel system? Checked. We should have full tanks. Well, okay. Clear prop. Yes, sir. Clear prop. Ready for takeoff. Uh, Roger, you're cleared for takeoff. Ready to go. All right. Full throttle, full mixture. That's the starter button. Keep rolling. Sun and fun, here we come. Flying is my life, and I still have one great dream to fulfill. The dream of every real pilot, to fly in Florida Sun and Fun Festival with my own homemade aircraft. As a parliamentary representative for this area, I would like to congratulate you for the work that you've done in constructing this aircraft in this beautiful community of Cochrane. We look forward to welcome you after certification from Florida, where all of Cochrane and Dominica will be at the Kinfield Airport to welcome you. So I want to wish you all the best and keep up the good work in our community. This is a great occasion for me. Uh, to uh, show you uh, my work, uh, three and a half years work here. And 
I like to try to start the engines, but before I do this, I'm going to christen the plane. And um, this I'm going to do, uh, since I don't uh, use any alcohol myself, I'm going to use a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> So, I now christen this RV8 to Rainstar. After I retired as a professional pilot, I left Germany. Um, I left my family, my wife, and my son, and I found this place. <laughs> I found out that I could learn much more about myself. Well, I found that there is um, a lot more about life than just uh, an occupation. I once looked forward to a peaceful retirement. But I soon realized that the quiet life is only something for old folks. And after all, I'm only 78. Then I realized what I still wanted to do, to build my very own aircraft and take part in one of the greatest air show on Earth, the Sun and Fun Festival, and maybe win a prize. To do this, I was prepared to give up everything. But it was clear that I couldn't do it alone. The moment the little red model plane crashed into my garage, there he was, Rainstar, an original Caribbean Indian. Ten minutes later, I had repaired his plane, and now he's helping me. The boy was heaven sent. Rainstar is the perfect assistant and is a person after my own heart. Okay, that's enough. The most important thing to be helping with this airplane is to be there when Daniel needs me. Because since of his age, there's certain things which he cannot do. Once more. Okay. Okay, good. Very good. nice. Flat. Perfect. I admire Daniel for the things he has done in aviation, especially flying for the King of Yemen, Haile Selassie, various different famous people. After my first flight when I was 11, I became obsessed with the idea of becoming a pilot. When I was 16, I joined the Swedish Air Force. I worked my way up as a mechanic. My big chance came when I was 20. Carl Gustav von Rosen, the Swedish Sankt Exupery, took me with him to Ethiopia to help King Halle Selassie rebuild his air force. And there, von Rosen taught me to fly. Finally, I was a pilot. In those days, flying depended on the pilot alone. Navigation system didn't exist. We just used the compass and looked out the window. Night flying was the worst. Runway were only lit by burning torches. And the aircraft weren't always reliable either. When I think of all my emergency landings, it's clear that my life in those days was pure adventure. I flew crates of gold, whole cargoes of coffee beans, and secret documents. And when I flew, Emperor Harry Selassie's lines to the King of Yemen, my life changed dramatically. King Ahmed of Yemen asked me to become his private pilot. I accepted, and a new life began for me, a fantastic life spent between the splendor and glamour of the royal family and breakneck maneuvers as a young pilot flying over uncharted terrains. But now, when I look back, uh, then I see that this fantastic that I uh, had this opportunity because this will never come back again, this time. Well, I always thought I didn't give up anything when I fly, but uh, 
Partly I had to give up my family uh, from time to time. My wife uh, called me once and he said that uh, <laughs> my son, Nils Holger, wanted me to come home. He said uh, he, he was missing me then. Well, you know why, why we're putting screws, huh? Yeah, so we can get the airplane out of the garage without removing the doors. That's right. Hand <laughs> well, it's not so easy. Not so easy. Uh -huh. Maybe I might be able to get it in, but I can't get it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do? Yeah, I, I think the only way is from inside, as far as I can see. Mm -hmm. That means putting my hand inside? I'm just a lonely ranger in hell. All right. Without Range Star's help, I never had got this far. But helping me hasn't always been easy. Range Star has never had an easy life. Born on a poor Caribbean reserve, he was then adopted. Oh, yeah. I would have adopted him too. Range Star. He's like a son to me, yes. That's true. <laughs> Above the clouds is one place that I can feel at peace with myself. Flying is the most incredible, wonderful thing in the whole world. Whoever wanted to fly with me was always welcome. Even if it was a king, or if it was his harem, I didn't uh, feel any difference, I think, for that. Yeah, the king of Yemen, Ahmed the Imam, asked me to pick up his harem. I, I was flying in the harem and I thought, I, I'd like to see this woman, if I'm in there. So, so I, I, once I, in the air, I, uh, I went out in the cabin and uh, they were all unveiled. But as soon as I came in the cabin, <laughs> they, they pulled this down. <laughs> So I could I didn't have time to look very much. Uh, I'm for